on their banners on Infowars.com. Again, Interfood.com or 866-762-9238. A whole line of just amazing superfoods where it's not just vitamins that pass through you. You absorb a lot more of it because uh, it's concentrated superfoods, Interfood.com. And uh, lastly, don't forget that we run this every year now. This is our seventh year doing it. We run this every year where you can get five months free at prisonplanet.tv uh, in the month of December uh, into the new year. That special is about to end, and your five ninety five a month, if it's a monthly membership, funds our operation. Plus, you get the live video streaming of the radio show, not just the radio, the archives, a higher-quality audio podcast. My book that's out of print, Watson's book, Order Out of Chaos, Elite Sponsored Terror, The New World Order Out of Print. We're flying all over the country interviewing everybody, Mike Adams, you name it, in person, putting it at prisonplanet.tv, two or three new videos a week. And we've got just literally 50, 60, 70 more. I'm even going back to stuff I never put out. It's all going to prisonplanet.tv. An armory of resistance, any subject you want, download it, burn it to disk, give it to who you know, share your passcode with friends, prisonplanet.tv. And the, uh, where you can get five months free right now, that special's about to end, and we have the online video bookstore as well for hard copies of everything at infowars.com. Okay, I'm going to try to shut up now, just fill in the gas tank there of our B-2 bomber attacking the New World Order. We need the funds. Going back to Mike Adams, uh, one of the leading he alternative health experts out there, very respected. Recapping what you're recovering with the uh, 2010 flu hoax, maybe we should briefly look at the 2009 and then that miscarriage information. We're trying to save some lives here. Then we'll shift gears into the U.N. angle of the food uh, enslavement bill. Sure. Well, you got to realize that the, the drug companies, the vaccine manufacturers, they have to fabricate an emergency every year in order to try to get people to take, take these, uh, these shots. And so this year, that has failed for the most part. People were not getting vaccinated. People learned their lesson from last year. You know, the big swine flu hoax crashed and burned. And also, people who didn't take the shot, who instead took vitamin D, and who, who took superfoods like your sponsor, Enterfood, and, and other good foods out there, and who took care of their health, they were fine. They didn't get sick. And they, a lot of them woke up, and they realized... We, gee, we don't need the vaccines. We're going to be healthier without it. So now, because their propaganda is failing, they have to push it. And that's what they're doing now in the U.K. They're pushing it. There are a couple hundred people in the hospitals who are suffering from swine flu, and they're saying everybody needs to get vaccinated. Now they're saying we've got to revisit the vaccinations for children under five years old because they pulled those vaccines previously for children under five in, in their National Health Service because of the, of the potential risks. But now they're saying, well, because of this, this pandemic breaking out, we've got to vaccinate all those kids. And in the U.S., as you hinted, they're now saying we've got to vaccinate pregnant women, too, so that their children can be, quote, protected. And by the way, I also saw an article recently saying that they're promoting chemotherapy for pregnant women, saying it's safe to have chemo even when you have a child inside you. This is, this is medical insanity. I mean, how many well, they're setting the precedent. They're setting the precedent to get away with mass murder, and they know what they're doing. They're turning health purely into a death camp, a eugenics camp, uh, as Ted Turner and Bill Gates have admitted. I mean, this—they mean business. And uh, for those that don't know, I remember just a few years ago, it always said in the inserts, and I've had medical doctors on that have pointed this out, that you never give a pregnant woman a vaccine because they know it causes autoimmune inflammation not just in the brain, but in the fetus, and, and triggers uh, massive increases in miscarriages. This time they said women who have babies in their, in their uterus, you're the one that really needs this. I mean, what an outrageous thing they did. And I've seen it. The only country to be admitting it is Australia, where, and where they're admitting this is causing um, the death of babies. Well, it's astonishing in all this if you look across the government bureaucracy. And, you know, you had, you had Rand Paul on a, a couple of weeks ago talking about how these bureaucrats create laws themselves, essentially, by creating regulations. They're unelected, but they create regulations, like the FDA and the TSA and the DEA and so on. These government bodies, they now, they just blatantly lie. They don't even care about telling the truth. They don't even care if they're caught in a lie. They just keep lying because most people keep buying it. So they throw out the evidence of harm for vaccines. You know, uh, the TSA tries to dismiss any of these complaints about, you know, people breaching down their pants and so on. They say, oh, it's for your own good. I mean, you've been all over that issue, so you know what I'm talking about. But every agency now is just running rampant across 
our freedoms and across the Constitution. And now, with the food safety bill, which I know we're going to talk about here, our food is at risk. They want to control our food. They want to reach into our refrigerators the same way the TSA has been reaching down our pants. That's what's happened. That's what's coming our way now in 2011. Incredible. Let's get in to the Homeland Security tie-in. Uh, it was admitted, even in the Wall Street Journal, a record 12 million given in the month of November to get the House to pass the draconian takeover. The 12 million was given completely by mega agribusiness to shut down their competitions. Uh, let's go over it. All right. Well, let's set the frame here for your listeners. The the bill proponents said that this is all about food safety. We're going to save 5,000 lives a year. Uh, you know, the FDA is a good agency. It's going to protect your food and protect your children and so on. Well, what they didn't tell you is, for example, did you know that E. coli, according to the CDC itself, only kills about 82 Americans a year through food transmission? 82 people. More people are killed by lightning in America than are killed by E. coli. And yet they, they made this into a big scare story. And that's a CDC statistic, by the way. You can, you can see it right on the government website. And then they hid things in the bill, things that are just now starting to come out. I've been reading this bill, Alex, going through it with a fine-tooth comb, because you know how, how crazy these bills can get where you have to reference this section and delete that phrase from that paragraph. It, they're, they're really hard to read. But if you get to this and you actually read it, it turns out that this bill says that the FDA has to put forth, quote, recommendations on whether and how to harmonize requirements under Codex Alimentarius. It's right there. The open world government standardization. This is, well, I mean, when you see the food safety bill, it's what's in Codex Alimentarius. It's global standardization. Now they're not even denying that. They're openly trying to bring us under this world government to shut down local farms and ranches because people are discovering that we're being poisoned intentionally through the GMO. People are getting the Rockefeller Foundation documents about vaccines having sterilants added. It's all coming out. And as the UN said in the 1996 food summit in Beijing, China, they would use food as a weapon. They are using it as a weapon. So it is our duty to start eating non-GMO. It's our duty to start gardens. It's our duty, even if they pass this, to literally rebel. And they're setting up the SWAT teams, everything. They're SWAT teaming the Amish to grow those tomatoes and then let them try to arrest you and, and, and further discredit these hordes of demons they've recruited. Yeah, exactly. It, it, the most patriotic thing that you could do, perhaps, right now is to grow your own food and, and sell it at a local farmer's market. Sell it to your neighbor's sell it to your community members, you know, grow some honest tomatoes and just sell them. And this is what the government precisely doesn't want you to do. And that's why they've created all of this this dark globalist language in this bill. Let me give you some other examples. Well, stay there. We're going to come back and, and hit this. We've got to go to break. But think about it. Ladies and gentlemen, in the 1930s, Stalin couldn't crush the poor farmers. He wanted to collectivize them, like Mao later did and killed 60-plus million people. So he said, you can't grow your own gardens anymore and starved 30-plus million people to death. I mean, they're not playing games. These are hardcore criminals. We'll be right back. Is it really possible to get out of debt without payment plans or attorneys? 18 years ago, we developed a program that has made thousands debt-free in just 90 days. It's called Zero Debt in 90 Days, and it works for all credit card debt, medical bills, even collection lawsuits. When I first joined, I was being sued. So I used the program methods, and after filing one piece of paper, the collection lawsuit was dismissed. With Zero Debt in 90 Days, your success is guaranteed in writing. There is no other program of its kind. Don't be alone when creditors gang up on you. Let our team of experts provide the resources to fight back and stop creditors in only 90 days. Guaranteed. Prevent wage garnishments, bank levies, and stop collection calls with our proven program. Call Zero Debt in 90 Days now, 800-477-9256, and ask for free information from an expert who also completed our program 800-477-9256 or zero debt guarantee.com 800-477-9256 or zero debt guarantee.com hundreds of nations have fallen to tyranny in the last century alone this is our last chance to not relive history as we're finishing off this agenda 
uh, they'll be pulling the rug from underneath Americans at home. They have tremendous influence on our president and Congress, and they really are calling the shots. I think it's incumbent upon all of us as American citizens to pay attention. Fall of the Republic identifies the enemies of our nation, the criminal offshore cartel, hell-bent on destroying sovereignty and on its ashes constructing world government. Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches. And the Congress is saying, who do we make the check out to? Today, seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the Republic. Get your copy of Fall of the Republic on DVD at InfoWars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Are you wondering about your retirement portfolio? Are you confident that the financial advisor is experienced enough to combat climbing interest rates, taxes, and inflation? Stop guessing and go to the expert, Robert Chapman of the International Forecaster. When you subscribe to the International Forecaster, you get Robert Chapman's 45 years of experience and concise investment recommendations. Who needs sugar-coated excuses when you can get the cold hard facts and proven investment leads you can't get anywhere else? For a free introductory copy to Robert Chapman's International Forecaster, subscribe now at the internationalforecaster.com or call 877-479-8178. Experience the difference. When you subscribe, you can email Robert Chapman directly to obtain investment advice tailored just for you. Don't wait another minute. Subscribe today at the internationalforecaster.com or call 877-479-8178. That's 877-479-8178. One of the most potent ways to lower blood pressure is to inhibit the angiotensin converting enzyme in the body, also called ACE. In nature, there are a group of proteins found in unheated way that inhibit the ACE enzyme. The most potent ACE inhibitor to date is lactokinin. While lactokinin does not have the inhibitory potency of synthetic drugs commonly used in the treatment of hypertension, this naturally occurring whey peptide may be able to help keep blood pressure normal. The most powerful whey protein supplement on the market is One World Whey. One World Whey is the first ever unheated whey protein powder from grass-fed cows. One World Whey is easily digested and tastes delicious. Use One World Whey to support your exercise or weight loss goals, your optimal blood pressure, energy, endurance, and mood. To order, call 888-988-3325. That's 888-988-3325. Or visit OneWorldWay.com. That's One World w h e y dot com all right going back to mike adams only got about five minutes uh, left with him right now uh, Mike, uh, continuing, I mean, you've got quoted in your article, it's up at naturalnews.com, it's up at InfoWars and Prison Plan, if people want to read it. Food safety bill invokes codex harmonization and grants FDA authority to police food safety for foreign nations. I mean, this is the global government right here, and they mention it's codex alimentarius. Tell folks what section 308 really means. Okay, well, first of all, for those who are skeptical, and, you know, I encourage people to, to be uh, critical thinkers, and they want to see this for themselves. If you go to the Thomas government search engine where you can search bills, you, you put in HR 2751 because that's what this was passed under. And you bring up this PDF file, go to page 195. You'll see this language for yourself. And you'll also see section 308. It's called the Foreign Offices of the Food and Drug Administration. Yes, I, I, we're not kidding. The, the FDA is going to set up enforcement offices in other nations, other countries. And they're going to, to dictate these countries how they should run their food safety systems so that when they export food to the United States, it adheres to, quote, 